Happy New Year. What's up, guys? Uh, figured I would do a little bit more of the the brake stuff, patched up. I didn't want to film any of the bending or flaring because if you guys watched the last video, you already saw it, and that's enough of that. But I got the I re did the path on the rear line so it came over on the side so it wasn't right down the middle and then I made a line going to each corner so now every corner has the brake line tightened up I'm going to start bleeding it with my speedy bleeder I don't remember it's like a mighty back brake bleeder super easy one person can use it you don't need anyone else to pump the pedal it pulls all the fluid through the lines gets all the bubbles out. You do each corner, you pump it, you do it again, kind of do it a few times, but if you only have one person, it's the right tool to use. So I might show that, might not, it's kind of boring. I uh, probably won't, but I'm going to lead the system right now and check for leaks. Alright, so bleeding the brakes has been a little trickier than I was expecting. Three out of the four bleeder screws actually rusted so I've been bleeding each corner with one good bleeder screw swapping it as I go around and I'm on the last corner as I mentioned previously this is the mighty back it makes bleeding the brakes super easy and I've been gravity bleeding as I've been going too so you crack the bleeder open make sure that the master is topped off and you just pump it and it uses the vacuum to pull the bubbles out. Right now I'm just doing a quick and nasty just to get some pedal feel. I have to get new bleeder screws. I'm going to do all the way around. I'm probably going to do different brakes anyways on this. Bigger calipers but I just want it working right now. As you can see in the line, if you can see it, it's pulling it through. Since the whole system was dry, it's taking quite a bit of brake fluid, but it's not bad. So now I have all four corners done. I can just cap this off. Give the pedal a feel. It should be quite a bit better than the last couple times because now I've done all four corners. So, hoping for the best. So, I had a massive leak at these three connectors. Tightened them down, uh, repumped the pedal. Um, one was still leaking, tightened it down a little bit more. Uh, built up the pressure in the system, stopped leaking. So brakes are good. I checked all the other connections, no leaks, that's a huge plus. Uh, thing I need to do, like I said before, get new um, bladder screws all the way around. Um, decide on what I want to use for calipers. Well, I'll just do bladder screws for right now, just to get that done sealed up. Uh, next project, I think I mentioned in the last video, the car didn't come with a complete chassis harness, it just came with the bulkhead harness and the engine harness. Nothing from, you know, driver passenger back. So I have to outsource a harness for that. I think I found one. I think my friend Ian has one. So that should be good. I just want to get this running as is. Make sure the motor is good. Make sure the transmission is good before I sell off everything. Because the plan is still to XT swap the motor, merge the whole harness with the taillights, headlights, random bullshit, doors. I might hook the, the windows up to toggle switches, just on off ons for up and down. Uh, not putting radio in it because I'll just use my phone with a Bluetooth speaker 
don't really give a shit. And as of right now, the plan is to take the motor, access port, and ECU out of the Forester XT. I'm trading that whole thing, hopefully to my friend, and I'm getting a pretty much complete STI drivetrain. So that will all go into this. Just have to source a few things like I think axles and maybe that's about it. But yeah, once I get that all in there, it'll be turbo swap, STI drivetrain. I gotta figure out the brakes, the hubs, stuff like that, because I might be getting 5x114 hubs. So I gotta figure out my suspension because that's different up front for that. And I think I have to re-drill things for the newer style top hats anyways. I have to do a little bit more research, but should be in pretty good shape. Uh, one other thing that I forgot about completely, I didn't really forget about it, I just didn't tally it together. Safety equipment. I need inspect seat, harness, helmet, suit, gear. Altogether, I did the math, and if I do the OMP brand with a few other miscellaneous things, I'm looking at 1200 1800 altogether all in, depending on what style seat I do and stuff like that, but that's all down the road. I'm still price shopping. I might look around for some used things on that front. I'm not sure, but it should be in pretty good shape. I got five months, four and a half months before the first hill climb, so I'll get my ass in gear. I have to get the interior painted, uh, what's left of the body rot, cut out, re-welded, none of it's structural, like I said before. It's just because I just want it cleaned up, done. Uh, I gotta get the cage log booked, gotta make sure it's running correctly after the swap and all that bullshit, four and a half months. Should be good, so we'll see how that goes, but yeah. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for updates.